Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, cables in your cabling box outside your house. So basically you want to get pliers like this and you want to grab the end of it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Like that, the side of it. And then you want to pull this way, pull it, pull it out. So you want to pull towards you and counterclockwise. Just like that. And this is it. So when you grab it like this, you got to pull this way and counterclockwise. Now you take your splitter, just like this, and put this end to the off antenna or your cable um, line that's coming from the street or the ground. That's your input. Then you take your, this is the bedroom, and this is the family room. Wires, let's go ahead and connect those. like that and you want to make sure it's grounded this is the ground wire but if it's grounded right here that's fine because this line is actually right here so make sure it's grounded using a, a copper ground wire and then you can ground it to um, your electrical meter or a cold water pipe outside you need to watch out for frogs too is that frog Got one line going up here to my bedroom. Now it comes in right there. I got a wall plate and it comes right in here in the back of my TV. My TV has a digital tuner so I can scan the channels. I'll get digital cable uh, channels and HD local channels too as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And then make sure it's on TV input. Then go ahead and hit menu on your remote. Hit menu. Go down, down, down to channel. If you're using a uh, basic cable, you want to leave that on. But if you're not using basic cable, you want to turn that off. Okay? And basically, if you're using an off-air roof antenna, you want to turn that off. Okay? If you're using basic cable channels, then leave that on. So if you're paying for pretty much internet, internet with basic cable, then you would leave that on if you want your basic cable channels. And then you want to do auto program. and hit OK. Right now I got 65 channels. Meanwhile, I'm going to do it to the other TV too as well. Now in this room, I got it connected. Actually put the cable under the tra um, the rug right here between the track and the floor molding. And then I covered it up like that to give you guys a, you know, ways to hide your coax cable. And then it's connected right back here behind the TV. And the only thing you do is hit menu right there and then you go to channel and then you go to auto-tune and hit OK. 
to and then it's gonna start scanning it for it's gonna start scanning it for the antenna channels which is a uh, off-air roof antenna and then the basic cable channels so right now it's gonna scan for the off-air roof antenna channels and now it's picking up some other channels So right there we got TV channels, we got 12 found. This is the other room with the Sony TV. And you got analog channels found, 66. Digital channels found, oh 63, that's pretty cool. Alright, just finished. So let's go see what channels you get. So that's a basic cable channel. And this is 480i. This is basic cable. And then this is a 3.1. And that's 720p. HD, baby. HD. TV don't lie. And you can tell the picture is way different. This is a digital picture, so the quality is way better. And that's. 1080i. And let's go ahead and hit the info button on this TV. Info. And it tells you it's 720p as well. That's it. And you'll get more channels too as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other YouTube videos how to fix TVs and tablets and computers.